What's up, everybody? It's Joe LaPuma. You were listening. You were watching the Complex Sneakers Show. We're back. And as always, I'm with my two guys to my right, Mr. Matt Welty. What a whirlwind it's been. We've been on break. We got a lot of stuff to get to. The world traveler to my left. Worldwide whirlwind. He's global. Mr. Brendan Dunn. Hello. How you doing? Welcome back. A couple hours of sleep in me. I, I figured that you were jet lag, but if anyone could fight through that jet lag... This guy right here. Thank you, my are, brother. Are you back with? I am. I am not back. He was. He was complaining to me this morning about the jet lag and how he's been fighting through it. He said, "I think maybe it's worse for you." I said, "Damn right, it's worse for me." I just got back from Shanghai last night. You've been in the U.S. for days. It might take some time to hit you, man. You <laughs> might still be on that same uh, circadian rhythm. He's gonna power through. Both of you guys gonna power through. Big Monday. We're back. We're we're filming on a Monday. A lot has happened. So much to catch up on. I. I you know. We were gone for a couple of weeks. We're back now. We'll be in a little rhythm for a while. But sometimes when we take this much time off, I don't know how much people want to hear us talk about the old stuff yes. when it becomes too old. So where, where do we start? Let's not go too far back. You know, we got some takes off. The Taylor Swift New Balance, we missed that. We were on break, but you wrote a great piece about it. You got some sales figures. Yeah, you logged into LexisNexis. You, uh, <laughs> you know, talked to, to New Balance and got just how much – those uh, 550s went up, and then she popped out in another New Balance. Yeah, although I do want to put a little disclaimer on that okay. because I did get some good context around it after I put the numbers out from a store owner that we know whose name I won't mention. I think I know who it is because I, I may have hit him up. Yeah, and he basically said that he felt like the numbers were not necessarily a reflection of true Swifties running to buy the shoes because he didn't move any units Got himself and, and the shoes are still around on the market, even though StockX, the numbers went up a little bit, but he felt like it was more resellers rushing to yeah. cash in on the shoes and mm. resellers hitting the website rather than true Taylor Swift fans making that move, especially because, you know, it was really a couple frames in a quick social media video, which did go viral because she's alongside Travis Kelsey yes. wearing the Chiefs colored 550s, but not as enduring as like a still image of her in the shoes. Did you run out and get a pair? No. Oh. No? You... I only have one pair of 550s. Five fifty. Not ALDs? Not, not my shoe, yeah. Yeah, I feel like I will probably never see Matt Welty wear a New Balance 550 unless... Uh... I've worn a pair. Once. Oh, really? Yeah, the ALDs. Okay. Yeah. No. Never again, though? It's just not my favorite shoe. It's not like I'm hating on it or anything. It's just not my favorite shoe. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's yeah. the disclaimer that you have to put yeah, ahead just, of every shoe that you yeah, say just, you dislike just, now. He goes, I'm not I'm not a hater. Yeah, I am not hating. Yeah, just not my favorite uh, favorite model. Favorite of the roster. We did pop out in Portland to see our good friend. God, we really, we've really we been gone that long? Yep. Wow. The Portland I forgot trip? even about that trip. Right, I wasn't there, but you guys. We popped out to Portland real quick, see our friend Bima go watch that episode for mm -hmm. his Saucony launch. That's right. Uh, we, Me and Brendan were actually able to join Bima along with our other friend, Jay Tips, at mm -hmm. the University of Oregon uh, Sneaker School. That's right. Nice. Give a little talk to the students there. Sports product management program in downtown Portland. That was talk a fun time. Talk to the kids a little? Yeah. It was, nice. It was, it was, it was... Drop some knowledge? I'd hope so. Open the gates up a little bit? <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> Open the door. I love get, it. Had him, had him get their foot in. Not a boy. <laughs> Captured a legendary video of Brendan Dunn hitting the two-step. Saw that. He was in his <laughs> the, mode. Okay. He goes back Put the to clip Port in. <laughs> he, goes back to Por he goes back to Portland. Come on. This they, is, he goes this back is, to Portland. <laughs> the doves when he goes back to portland okay <laughs> this is the part where we put the standard disclaimer in the podcast if you're listening and you're not watching yes, please go sir. ahead and turn the video on so you can see welty's clip of me two-stepping i think the, the best comment was uh oh, andrew barber mr fake short drive, yes legend said, yeah referred to you as mr drinking his two-step himself yeah. brendan dunn yeah, it was a vibe a whole vibe a whole vibe okay where else did we go then we popped out to malaysia Another spot at, where Joe was sorely missed. Sneaker Law. I would have loved Shout to go. Shout out Brian, Big up Brian, big up Alman. Trinidad was out there with yep. us. What's the difference between that sneaker convention and like one that's in the States? Is it is it similar? Like paint would, the picture a little I bit for me. What would you guys say is the difference? The vibe there was uh, almost like a smaller like complex con sort of event than a true sneaker, sneaker con. Like a sneaker con. Like yeah. there were tables with shoes per se, but it was a lot more brand activations and stuff like that yeah more so that than buy sell trade areas although, although there was that there was a vintage you know the theater. vintage area i really liked and i quite regret not buying that tekken shirt but i think trinidad did buy the tekken yeah. shirt so i will envy him on that it we, was a good time we went on stage with uh edson from pada 
I mean, nice. that that was so good too because I've been so obsessed with those Pata Air Max TNs lately. Yeah, and then being alongside Edson and hearing while him talk he's, about while it he's a little wearing... bit, yeah, and seeing him wear the shoes. Don't thought maybe you would bring them to the trip. <sighs> I almost, I almost made it. I got a pair coming. Good. Yeah, he had a little team early. Thank you for that, John. You know, he he's one guy. If if I if we showed up wearing the same shoes, I'd be fine with it. <laughs> yeah, I'd be fine with it. <laughs> I feel like, yeah, that's my brother, you know? I have to say, I mean, you know? we've we've been... <laughs> Vote of confidence. Yeah. Appreciate you. Yeah. We, we've been there before, mm -hmm. 2019. I feel like that was just much different time and space in many different ways in our career, in the world, yeah. uh, et cetera. But going out there this time and really getting to take in and soak up yes. the fans, the energy, the interactions with the everyone. Milo. I feel like I don't know. It, was, it felt a little more fulfilling this this time around. Not that the first time wasn't to a certain mm -hmm. extent, but just I don't know. There was just something different about uh, the experience of getting to interact with everyone. I really like that picture of you guys on the stage with everyone. That was a good one. That yeah, was, it was awesome. Touching yeah. moment for sure. I love being in Malaysia because people are so appreciative and so happy to see us, and it's always good to be outside and touching the fans. But I have to say. One thing that always is, is, is hard for me to digest is everywhere I go, whether it's Portland or Malaysia or Shanghai, where I was next, the most salient question is not, how are you, Brendan, but where's Joe LaPuma? Yeah, there was a lot of where's the, Joe really? LaPuma. The people want Joe LaPuma I outside. I, I can't stress it. this enough. I appreciate it. You and know, I have to speak on your behalf in all corners of the world. Appreciate and it. And I don't mind that because once, like, like you said, that's my brother. Yeah, you got it. But even still, the people want to see you, Joe. Okay, so maybe... Maybe next year, you know. Yeah. I I I was filming, so I couldn't. And and yeah, maybe next year we form like Voltron, and we you know the boys, yeah. we, we take a trip. But yeah, sorry I couldn't get there. Uh, you know, you guys are starting your new season this yep. week. Mm -hmm. yep. New episode this week. Out now. Out now. Black thought. Black thought. And I would say you know I was in the middle of my season, so I didn't get to go on these trips, but. I really appreciate, obviously appreciate uh, everyone asking for me, but I, know I don't you guys appreciate it. Yeah, okay. I don't. I, you know, like how many times do I have to say Joe LaPuma is at home? <laughs> I wasn't at home though. <laughs> no, sorry, I was on sorry, the, sorry. On the road. Uh, one of the, I think, uh, cool parts about it was is that uh, I believe Brian, who runs Sneaker Law, mm -hmm. shout out, had gotten an order of the Complex Sneaker of the Year books to sell out there. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people in Malaysia had that book. And a lot, yeah, and a lot of people came up to us with the sneaker of the year book. I would say at least over like ten people had yeah. the, had the book coming up to sign it. Oh. So that was it was cool to see. All right, All Malaysia right. Times bestseller, <laughs> shooting up the charts. Ten people. I thought, I thought you were going to say fifty. <laughs> <laughs> ten. All right, we'll, well take I it. Mean, that's, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Obviously, event? that's great. Yeah, yeah, still on, still on shelves, still on shelves, burning up the charts. Yes. What else has happened? Uh, Jimmy Fallon. Yeah. That's wild. where Joe LaPuma was. was wild. People ask me, where's Joe LaPuma? I yeah. said, he's busy. Yeah, I, I didn't tell. He's busy with a late night oh, appearance. Man. What it, an experience. Really, what an experience. Perfect way to put it. And it came about, I would say, two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. And to be totally honest, I was like, yeah, sure. Not thinking it would actually happen. And it actually happened. Someone called you and said, we want you on Jimmy uh, Fallon. Our, our PR person, Bradford, mm -hmm. set it up. Shouts to Bradford. Thank you for that. And uh, it happened. A crazy experience. How much did you think about the shoes you were going to wear? Um, How many different things did you cycle through? So I'll, I'll paint the picture. Please. I, we were in office Tuesday. You guys were away mm -hmm. still. And we got the call that it's happening. Mm-hmm. And I immediately left the office and I went to John Elliott and I got that thermal looking sweater mm -hmm. and I got the... Your, I love that your first pants. response was, I have to put a fit together. Yeah. And I got the... And I went to Ame and I got these like slacks looking pants and then... Skip the line, obviously. No, there was no line. <laughs> it was during the day. <laughs> and then I just feel like the Cortez was the one to wear. Mm -hmm. Just like... You're not wrong. Black Air Max 95, little subtle hits, happy that... It, 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 I didn't really go back and forth. I didn't want to wear something so loud. Yeah. Like, oh, you know what I mean? But obviously we find these shoes that we're super comfortable mm -hmm. in and they're just in the rotation for months and months. That was what I wore. I, I knew that in my head when I just had heard that you were going to be on it because they had posted in the Slack channel, Joe LaPuma's going to be okay. on it. Yeah. 
And I knew that you were going to wear Cortez 95s before I even saw the on foot. Awesome. Yeah, I, I just think that was the perfect shoe to wear. Just not, not even the perfect shoe. I just felt comfortable in it. And that's what I did. I didn't tell anyone I was doing this. No one. Dave Matthews, shouts to Dave Matthews. I know that we joke around. I have a lot of, I'm going to go through a couple shout outs. Mm-hmm. Dave Matthews, shouts to Dave Matthews. I know we joke around, but Our my producer. man, my man was working the phones like Lior King Cohen. Okay. <laughs> flew on a whim, flew on a whim from Atlanta to join me, made me a lot more comfortable. I uh, was in the green room, him, Jose, and it was a great experience. One thing, I don't even know why I have to say this, like, People thinking that the shoes that I brought were like the end all be all sneaker of the year. Obviously, I brought. What do you mean, people? That there was some feedback, some comments. No, just about... no, 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 and totally well, fine. Well, just well, people we... being like, "Oh, the Drake shoe is not in the top." Well, and it we was like... know we know they weren't the end all be all sneaker of the year because you brought the Tiffany Air Force. Yes, so oh, that's, that's, so that's... I knew. Yes. I, knew I set you... myself up when for I that. Saw it that, was him in the comment when section. I, when I, I set myself up for when that. When I saw that, I thought you were doing that just to like give us like a little like snub jab. Yeah, well, not a snub, but just like a, to to spite us on. A... So like. I probably national stage. First, <laughs> <laughs> you you have this no. huge stage to go on. Yeah, was and his, his reaction is he's trying to spite me. Subbing him, but no. But I I, I kind of it was heavy Nike. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I get it. Also, I, I wear Nike the most, but like I tried to I didn't try to mix it up as much as like bring you know I couldn't bring to talk like, about. I couldn't exactly. I wanted to bring shoes with like talking points. Yeah. You know what I mean? If that makes sense. And like, listen, we didn't have the whole hour, so I brought just a group that I thought could be like. Fun and and interesting. Yeah, we talked about his mischief collab. Uh, the other thing I want to say, another I know, sub at Welty. Oh uh, yeah, huh? Yep. <laughs> the you tweet. About, you t- no, you talked about mischief and all all just to take digs at Welty yeah, on, the... on the national stage. Exactly. I'm trying to think. You're lucky I didn't bring a. I mean, I could have brought the Bronson though. That would have been a good one. Yeah. That would have been a good one to bring. But to I, be I honest, hey, I but it was just, you're just in but in I, the zone. But th- thinking back, the Bronson one would have been a good one to but bring. But I totally, I totally get that. You know, you're on Jimmy Fallon. Yeah. It's about as mainstream, yeah. base level sneaker culture as you can get. So you want to have talking points that aren't super niche. Oh, check out this collaboration. That's with exactly the, with what this, I'm trying to say. With this store in uh, Australia that you know exactly yeah, and, and, and that's, a different panto and they yeah. changed the eyelets. Yeah. One yeah, yeah and that's, up, so yeah, exactly. And we'll the do other, that on here. The other thing I want to say, we'll put, we can put a <laughs> pin in this, but I know I give you a lot of shit about your tweets. I will tell you that leaving that, I was like, when I when I had like a time to like breathe and step back, I was like, it's pretty nuts that both you guys know that I deal with photos. I live in photos. Mm-hmm. That's how I. It's pretty crazy being on the desk of late night and like having, yeah. and then. I know you were like not being sarcastic. I but wasn't being sarcastic. Uh, I was the not tweet being... that you put that tweet that you put with like all those guys. Yeah. I was I was putting you amongst explain some... the tweet because not yeah. everybody in the world sees your tweets. Okay, uh, I took <laughs> which there's... may come as a surprise. Okay, anyways, I, there was the picture of Joe presenting Jimmy Fallon with. Big JLP shoe. Ex- huge JLP Those shoe. Those reverse neon 95s. Maybe which I'm JLP wearing in the next the... episode. So you're presenting shopping. him over the late night table. And when I saw that, my brain was instantly taken to there are a few legendary sneaker moments uh, on late night TV where sneakers have been presented. Obviously, the first one is uh, Michael Jordan on the David Letterman show. The late show. Late the show. The late show with David yeah. Letterman. Then with the had, black and red Jordan ones. Yes. Right? And we had talked about it recently because we did the Kobe list and I was actually that was actually the starting point for it. We were drawn back so I had found that picture of Kobe. What was the 3D yes. Kobe sixes just, with uh Conan O'Brien where yes. they put the glasses on. Mm-hmm. Um and then I was looking for another one. I knew there had to be more, so I found LeBron. Also, you know who actually a real close friend of yours Victor had, Cruz had a similar moment yes I knew that too yep. he unveiled him on Fallon yep, yep. that was a, another one I thought about so I was trying to find it and I but I said took all those pictures said Joe LaPuma Kobe Bryant LeBron James he mentioned me last thank God Joe you LaPuma. did well hey it was yes. it was it <laughs> was actually did. in it was in a chronological yes. order yeah. so here's what I would say call it corny call it whatever you want that like low key meant something to me and I appreciate it I hey, love. I wanted to big. I wanted to big you up. I sent that to Dave and Jose. I loved that tweet because, like, you know, it's something that we joke about. But I love the way, like, you yeah. set it up. He set it up. You know, sometimes we talk about it. Sometimes it's tweets. You know, but this <laughs> and once one. Again, wait a minute. Yeah. Could I say the disparity? Because you're on here talking about how much you appreciate 
him tweeting this thing, bigging you up, and just five minutes ago we talked about him tweeting about me, where it's a video of me just two stepping very Listen, calmly at a sneaker launch PR, party. He's our PR person. <laughs> Although you didn't want to big me up, <laughs> I did. You literally shrunk me down. The 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 aspect made me look smaller than I am. Oh, you look great like, too. <laughs> no, you look great the too. FSR Different, but you look joke great. Of me being small is like. I, it's a fu- actually no. We'll we'll not pull the curtain back on that right now. <laughs> my only my only disappointment was is that, that the complex sneakers Twitter account instead of just retweeting me and getting I more saw that too. I saw that too. Screenshot in my I, I tweet. Saw, okay, so I'm like, I yo, saw we that work too. at the wow. same company. I saw that too. I saw that too. I was what? Okay, like, are I'm you doing this start to spite me? I was. I'm not trying to start shit. I was this like, this is the stuff we need to catch this up. This is on. a little weird to do it like this. Yeah. <laughs> Not even an at. Did they tag you in the photo? No. Yeah, I saw that. Way I was more like, okay. effort than a simple click. Yes. Yeah. Repost. Ben, what happened? <sighs> hilarious. That is hilarious. But Lady anyway. Dude. Yeah. So. Can we talk? We want to talk sneaker news stuff? Or? Yeah. Let's get to <laughs> it. No, I just want to talk Twitter. Let's get to okay. it. Uh, Next, sorry. One uh, viral-ish moment. I, w- I want to say viral, but uh, talking point uh, recently was is the Travis Scott Travis Scott's been sneaker stuff has been around uh, a lot recently. I uh, made the trip to UNC basketball team. Is that where he missed that shot from a couple of feet away from the hoop? I believe so. But also his golf one lows uh, released. They just did a video with uh, Brooks Kapka, Travis, and him playing golf. Mm-hmm. But I think a, a better talking point was is that so his one lows golf one lows released in a store in London, trendy golf had a caveat that you had to be able to drive a golf ball so that 200 yards or 100 for men 150 yards for women if you wanted to get a shot at getting the shoes this is very similar to in the past where you've seen if you want to get these shoes you have to be able to do a kickflip you know it's a hot topic in the sneaker community personally i'm not the biggest fan of uh making people do these side right. quests why or, i don't know it just it, a lot of people, some people get upset about it uh, in general. I thought the Nike SB Jordan 4 thing was cool because it just had to prove that you had actually purchased a pair the of sneakers skateboarding shoes. Of access. You didn't have to prove your skills or anything, but you just had to prove you're like, hey, I'm actually uh, someone who is in this because I skateboard and yeah. I want to get the shoes instead of reselling them. Maybe you will resell them. I don't know. I always put that asterisk on it. Yeah. So they had a release there in the drop date in London was at the release and you saw the lineup of the people there and it looked like it was everyone who was plucked from the golf course and some people say hey that may be corny this isn't sneaker culture i totally get if that's your take but what it did what it looked like is there wasn't resellers in line so people always want to complain and say oh it's all resellers eating up the shoes so you may think that the uh hitting the golf ball thing is corny uh, you may think that only golfers, like old white guys, getting their shoes is corny. Um, but just the fact that they somehow were able to make a thing where it's like, hey, the people that actually wanted to wear, people who wanted to wear the Seemingly shoes. Seemingly there were no resellers. Yeah, got the shoes. So yeah. You're hitting the fairway if you tee off or are you shanking it left? <laughs> <laughs> I think I used to play golf when I was younger. And I was, really? I was, okay, I was okay. How come we never knew about this? I played one summer and then. I obviously could never play anymore. Why? I or, get too distracted. Oh, I thought you were going to say there was before, like I thought you were no, going to say there played, was like a lawsuit. Like, no, I, I played it before. Like, the could you fu- could you could you smash it two hundred yards? I I could drive well. I feel I, like everyone could. I, I feel th- like a lot of people could hit yeah. a golf ball like far, but then and, like it's like the medium shots. That are yeah, hard. The, it's the short game. But okay, yeah, I, I thought you were going to say you you went to go drive the ball and you like threw the golf club like halfway down no, the fairway no, and got like no. banned from the court. No, 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 no. Knocked some 80 year old dude unconscious in the process. <laughs> so I do appreciate this idea that it somehow gave access to people who are more willing to wear the shoes because I can understand why brands and stores want to prioritize that. But like you said, I kind of don't like the idea that you have to have a certain level of, you know, physical strength or, you know, uh, skill on a skateboard in order to purchase a shoe. I I don't like that aspect Mm -hmm. of it. I don't like the idea that you have to be physically capable to a certain extent in order to purchase these items. And I feel like somewhere at its core, that's like not aligned with Nike brand values. Hmm. 
Mm, I, I don't know. You just, well, what? You, you look like you had something to say. You could disagree with me. I don't. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that's like maybe just taking it like a little too far down like the rabbit hole per mm. se, or it's just like a brand trying to do an activation, you know, and just trying to think of a way to get the shoe to people that like play golf. Yeah. So it's just kind of just sometimes you have to just. If, let me ask you this. If you play golf, can you definitely hit a ball 200 yards? Not everyone, but no. it's but it's it's not th- if you are for the most part just like a grown up, yeah. you know, not like a <laughs> you could just mean like just like a f- full, yeah fully formed adult, yeah. That and you've played some amount of golf. It's not the hardest thing in the world. Mm. Would you ever pull up to mini golf with them? I'm a huge. I love mini golf. Imagine you pull up to mini. I will golf with always the pull up to mini golf whenever with there's golf mini shoes? golf. I'll be there. Top golf. Mm, I like top golf. Okay. I went to a pitch and putt once. Uh, part three, Robert Moses State Park. There's a great part three near <laughs> you me. You said you could never golf again. You just no, I know it. And then Hart, Heartland Golf Park in Deer Park, super ill. It's a par three, which short course, but all the holes are modeled after professional iconic holes. So, yeah, you, Long you Island has me. some good Sorry. ones. Long Island has some good ones. I shot 80 over par, but who cares? <laughs> <laughs> one more piece of sneaker news I want to catch up on and I want to get y'all thoughts on. I just came back from Shanghai. I was there for the Clot 20th anniversary yes. show where they unveiled what felt like maybe the worst kept secret in sneakers for a you while. Knew for a while. Yeah, you, you the knew Clot for a while. Adidas collaboration. Well, somebody on Twitter but leaked no it longer, months ago. Oh, okay. No longer with Nike, is that? Yes, no end? longer with Nike and now partnered with Adidas yeah. and they unveiled this wide ranging collection of Adidas sneakers and apparel there at the 20th anniversary show. I was lucky enough to be in attendance, see the sneakers firsthand. Also, we'll publish an interview with Edison Chen of Clot on the shoes this week. Nice. I appreciate how much the sneakers are a departure from his previous work, and we spoke about that to an extent. Look, I I can understand why some of the feedback is negative, and I think they're very challenging shoes, but if you've been doing this thing for 20 years, and a good portion of those 20 years, he's been releasing sneakers with Nike Mm -hmm. and with Adidas in the past, and it's just colorway changes and logo slaps and things like that, I can understand wanting to do something completely different. I I like the actual shoes, actual sneakers, Yeah, that way. Um, I believe it was a Samba-esque, like almost like a... Espadrille. uh, Like beaded looking... Yeah, there's that one too. Yeah, hand-sewn shoe. And to me, those are cool. Yeah. Uh, no need for me for he like heeled loafer esque yeah. wooden shoes like uh eh, like the Adidas superstar with the ripples on the bottom nah, and the leather trim that nah, doesn't do anything nah, for you. No, nah, no, nah, we're not doing that. Uh, okay, but fair enough. The other stuff I thought was cool. Um, I just think that like, hey, if this is your first collaboration with the brand and you're like a really sneaker centric core yeah. thing, you don't want to do something that's just a colorway flip. Yeah. But you also kind of want to speak to the audience that you're uh, approaching with it. And I just think that those ones kind of miss the mark a little bit. Yeah, I know what you mean. And I'm not here to defend Mm -hmm. Edison per se, but, and maybe I'm swayed to an extent by being there in person and talking to him. I think that always makes me more positive on a shoe, but his explanation was that the people who are into this stuff should have grown by now, or he's, he's aiming at a different audience, or you just can't keep appealing to the same sneaker teenager who's into hype beastie colorways. I'm excited to see what, what, he does with them for sure yeah and it's such a huge investment like it's from adidas i think more than nike ever gave him you know there's a big line of apparel i'm i'm looking forward to it hopefully we can speak to him on here about it at some point is this one of the most recent adidas big signees yes for sure they're putting him right alongside pharrell and bad bunny in terms of adidas originals so that's what i also took from it okay like they went through the easy stuff now they're announcing this signee. Mm-hmm. Who's next? You know what I mean? Yeah. But they're going to build around him. Are they going to announce more soon? That That's one thing that I took away from it for sure. Yeah. Another shoe coming up, uh, a little outside the box, Supreme, Nike SB, Air Darwins. Yeah. Dennis Rodman shoes. I kind of like those. I, think I like look, them too. It's a white shoe. You like well, them? Uh, I like oh. the model. I uh. like the model. But wait, SB, how is that? Just like I mean, the, just like the, the skateboarding the tech, which is just yeah, supreme. Yeah, okay. I don't think it's yeah, it's an SB shoe. Wink, wink. Yeah, put it, in, put it in a different box. That's kind of cool to me. I've never owned that shoe before, but I kind of like that. Yeah, Maybe it makes like, me a hype beast. I think they look nice. Yeah. yeah. Also, Big Dunk, someone who we have to get on the show. Yep. Been working on it. Hopefully, we can soon. Mm-hmm. Futura, Nike SB Dunk. Futura Nike SB Dunk. You know what? People were very, very excited about these. 
at first blush and maybe we need better photos i wasn't that i wasn't I that look, into i think them. they look nice okay i think they look a lot better than they could have looked like i think that that shoe mm -hmm. looks much better than the off-white ones that never released you like that more than the futura off-white dunk low that never released no. yes no way no. yes no way yes Oh my goodness. By like a mile. Really? Yeah. Listen, as a person yeah. who has seen the Futura off white dunk lows in hand oh, and, and no, held I them, love those. held them in his gloved hand, maybe, I guess that sneaker is so just, much cleaner. I but also, the photo, the first photo of the SB dunks from Futura, not very good and not very flattering. I guess just for me, I just like the New York Knicks colorway yeah. is just so I agree. like overdone that but it's like. But the white like, and blue of the unreleased pair? I just like the other one more. Okay. By the way, that shoe, and I mentioned this on Twitter since. We always talk about your tweets. We can talk about one of my tweets. One yeah, real quick. Um, it's going to be very limited. Okay. Not going to be easy to get. Saw that. Best mm -hmm. of luck to you all. We want to have Futura up here talk some sneaker history. We'll get that. Is there a better place to talk sneaker history? <laughs> no better platform in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Speak about. We do have a guest today, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, we do. Someone special? Big one. We're back. Let's bring him in. Our guest on today's show is an artist with a lot of sneaker history and an exceptional album that was released last week called And Then You Pray For Me. He's an FSR alumni who's now making his first appearance on the Complex Sneaker Show. Please welcome Westside Gun. Westside Gun, welcome to the Complex Sneaker Show. Right, I man. mentioned in the intro you've been on FSR, but happy to have you here. Yes, sir. Big, big week for you. Obviously, congrats on the album. Nah, man, thank you, man. It's... <sighs> surreal man the yeah. love been crazy it's but it's crazy because like everything i thought was gonna happen it actually happened like yeah. you know what i'm saying it's like just seeing the hard work paying off man it's, it's just a beautiful thing and you said that like you even recorded it like overseas pulling inspiration from yeah from uh different parts of the world yeah the whole thing was done overseas yeah. you know what i'm saying i started off uh january fashion week you know and I just never came back. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah. saying? I just left there and then you were you went were out of the country that whole time? Yeah, no, nah, so a lot of the album I just like I come home for a couple weeks yeah. and I just go back overseas. Yeah. Because the like the inspiration all year was just overseas. Yeah. I really only came back for my kids, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Just to, you know, see my grandmother, check on my mom, my son, you know, just family. But then after that I just go right back. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't even about just even recording the album. I was just like living life experiencing you know different cultures so mm -hmm. i was just in a vibe it's something i never did before because actually originally i was gonna go on tour mm -hmm. okay. so i was excited like yeah i'm gonna go on tour for the first time because like what's better than traveling the world and seeing the fans and getting paid you know what i mean taking yeah. care of yeah. your family it's like tour overseas was like a dream you know what i'm saying but things didn't work out actually so I was already in the mood to, like, the, the tour was supposed to actually start. My show was going to be in uh, Paris Fashion Week. Okay. And then it was just going to go from there. Got it. But since it didn't happen, I just was already in the mood to go. And I was just like, y'all want to see the world. So even next time when I get the opportunity, I won't be just going, on, you know, just unexpected things. I just kind of already be more prepared as well. Nice way to experience it, too, because I feel like sometimes you hear stories about tour and you don't necessarily get to really yeah. really understand those places or really soak them in if you're just there to work and there mm -hmm. for 36 hours and you bounce out to the next place it must be totally different really being able to experience exactly the locales exactly so even now when the tour that you know comes i actually been to these places yeah. so yeah. it's gonna make yeah. it like super you know dope. where to like, pop out yeah exactly now i'm going to my favorite restaurant there mm -hmm. and i'm gonna stay at my hotel there like now i actually know yeah so it's kind of like it was all worth it because now i'm actually still gonna go and, and see the people and and they're anticipating it even more now because it's a year later you know yeah. what i'm saying when i go so beautiful yeah we want to talk sneakers uh Let's get into the sneakers we're wearing first yes. up. What do you got on feet here? Oh, uh, man, I got the cost for zone, <laughs> yeah. man. You know you what know, he got on feet. Beautiful craftsmanship right here, man. You know what I'm saying? One of the illest sneakers of all time. You know what I'm saying? Um, Everybody know I collect art. You know what I'm saying? You got so, the cause tattoo on there, too. I could see it peeking through. Yeah, yeah. The That's shoes to match. Saying. Of course, of course. You know what I mean? This, this is. It was only right. You like got the I black pair, too? Is, Nah, but I'm actually about to go get them. Now. Okay. <laughs> so when you're, you know, because you just, I never, I never wore them. Yeah. So mm -hmm. now that they're, they're on my feet, it's like I need the black ones. This yes. is such an honor because when yes. we had you on full size run, I think it was the first time you'd worn the MF Doom Ducks Ooh, as well. Yeah. So yeah. You know, I love the remember year. that. Yeah. 
Yeah. So using how, the special yeah. occasion to bring out a good yeah. pair of shoes. Man, it's only right. Yeah, it's only as, right. As someone who you just said, like you know, you've been hopping around traveling. How many like pairs of shoes, and what shoes are you bringing to like this New York press run? Do you like pulling up at stores? Like, will you go to yeah, a flight club? Or yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I just buy as I go mm -hmm. because the thing about it is, I like to just wear like the newest clothing piece. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So whatever the newest clothing piece is, I have to match it with a shoe. Mm. You know what I'm saying. So you know, uh, sometimes I might even go a designer sneaker. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. I, I love a good Louis V skater. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying. Virgil design. Just that's one of my favorite shoes as yeah. well. But like sneaker wise. Man, I just whatever I see, I just snatch it. Love that you, you do, have it. Do you, when you buy the clothes, do you still like bring the jacket into the store with you and try to like nah, match it? like hold it up, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> see if it goes? Nah, I don't do that. But um, I usually just as soon as I leave from getting the clothes, though, I go f try to find a shoe. The, you know what I'm yeah. saying? To complete the um, puzzle. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's kind of like yeah. a. Uh, because you know the thing is, man, I'm 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 fly God, man. Mm. So it's just like, you know, getting fly is like something I take serious, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like seriously, it's not it's not even, but it's like a lifestyle. You Definitely. know what I'm saying? Of just like the rush of trying to get like runway pieces or, you know, something a, a designer made only one of three or one of five. Like I try to get like those type of pieces first, and then you know get the shoe because actually when i bought these this wasn't even this isn't even the outfit that i bought them for okay. i actually had a runway piece but i didn't want to be sitting here just overdoing it like, <laughs> yeah. okay. we have to know what the piece okay. was we have to know what was it i was just like yeah. i would be sitting here with like a twenty-five thousand dollar outfit just chilling glistening i'm wearing shining. uniclo man <laughs> It's funny because uh, we were just talking about how we were recently in Malaysia, and actually, as we were leaving the country, me and Trinidad were sitting in immigration, and someone had a pair of Cause Fours on, and he goes, "Oh snap! Look, someone has Cause Fours on." I go, "Dude, those shoes are so fake because oh. you you saw them from afar, and it looked like a one D version of yeah. the shoe. Because just looking at the shoe, you can see the how like hairy the suede is, yeah. and like how yeah. much texture the is detail. on it. Yeah. And seeing the fake pair, just the hands like, were missing a finger it, it or something. Like a, it looked like a cardboard cut out. Yeah, <laughs> oh, come on." <laughs> the X's were a little leaning, a little weird. Dang, dang. You couldn't even see. You couldn't even see it Damn. like through oh, the stitching. No. Welty, were you with me when those dropped at the it Brooklyn wasn't. Museum? I wasn't, but I was. you know how long I waited in the rain. Oh. I couldn't even imagine. I was at the <laughs> museum that night. Yeah, you didn't wait in line. He, he's, <laughs> that's the difference between me and you as we, no. as we figure out on a weekly basis. Class, yep. Sorry. Yeah, classic uh -huh. shoe though. Yeah, love uh -huh. those. I'm doing the uh, Adidas Sambas. What? So, I'm looking. No, I'm looking down. Why what? are you talking about them? No, nothing. I thought you had a little. I thought no, you had a little no, comment about my son. Actually, you know, I thought these weren't that beat up. I picked these up out in Shanghai, and then I, I was at Lafine until about 3 a.m. and oh, I stepped out of the <laughs> club, and they looked pretty clean in the in the evening light, in the you know in the in the twilight hours. But then I got back to the hotel the next morning, and the suede's a little beat up. So they I don't know good. how much longer we. They look great. Man. Yeah. Thank you. They appreciate great, it. Did you scrub brother. it out? No, I, I definitely will. I also jammed them into my suitcase, and <laughs> so I think they got a little abrasion from that. Do you ever? Nah, nah they good. You ever nah. ruin a pair of shoes, like in the suitcase? You know, like he's just talking. Like I, I know what you mean. Uh, nah. Or in the nah, club, I've been, I've like you step pretty, out at the end of the I, night, and I mean, yeah, but see, you know, it's crazy. Like when it's time to go to the club, I don't wear like your best shoes. Or... My best shoes. They they're more like the designer shoe, like I said. Like I don't mind Something throwing on through. a pair of Balenciaga mm. or a pair of, you know what I'm saying, yeah. uh, Ricks or something just to wear in the club. But like, nah, if I'm gonna do something like perform or, you know, I'm not really somewhere where I'm gonna get them creased up, yeah. you know what I mean? Kind of just, you know, from the truck to the spot, yeah. from the still, spot to the truck, then I, I wear anything at that point. Do you still clean your shoes or you nah. just don't care? Nah. Now, I haven't cleaned a pair of shoes since I was a kid. Like, you, you know what I'm saying? I feel like you just, just, nah, I just feel like just wear them. You know is what that, I'm saying? The thing about it is, you don't, you only supposed to wear them once every now and then. So they yeah. should never be dirty in the first place. It's there just like, and then even if they are dirty, man, that's just, that's culture too, man. It's just Character. like, nah, I wore them. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel just like the dooms. Like, mm. You know, with certain shoes or the uh, the De La Soul dunks, like it's like sometimes you just gotta wear them for the culture. Doesn't you know get mad. You don't get mad at yourself though if like 
you're eating some food and you get like that grease like drip on like the toe box and you just know it's not gonna come out. I'm like, careful, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like I, like I said, man, this this you know, fly guy, man, I take it serious, That's man. It. So it's just like now nah, I can't get dirty, bro. Put like, the bib on. Yeah, man. I'm I'm trust me, I'm man, I'll take everything off and sit at the table barefoot with a white <laughs> with a white beater on before I uh before I get dirty. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll do a little Jason Mark rain repellent sometimes, yeah. you know? If the suede. Uh these I'm doing Comme de Garçon Nike Pegasus two thousand five. I don't know if that's I was you to son of a! <laughs> it's an all figure. black shoe. Listen, I, I know it's not flashy, bit. but it's like I'm here no, to that's work. A big JLP CDG. shoe. CDG. I thought you had a pair of Vumeros <laughs> on at first, and no, I, th I thought no. you had close though. I thought you broke your anti Vumero streak by wearing those. I just don't know if the world needs that shoe. Okay, big JLP shoe. You like them? It's a plain I shoe. There's wear nothing. <laughs> Thank you. I will wear them. <laughs> you know, it's kind of more just like. Uh, just chill, though. That's you exactly. Know you know what? You know, I'm, 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 I'm <laughs> You're going throwing to... me the bird right now. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, it, it's a it's a plain shoe, but, you know, it's a, I feel like. You needed the CDG logo no, on like, there? No, like I always say, I'm here to I'm here to work. It's Monday morning. It's the top of the week. We've had a long, like, past Couple weeks. of weeks. Yeah, yeah, so. Going to work. Comfortable. Yeah, I'm chilling. Yeah, you're chilling. Everybody knows who you, who you are. Appreciate man. it, brother. It's Appreciate okay. it. Thank you and <laughs> you. <laughs> to, to, to my right, uh, got the Packer On collaboration. Uh, these shoes are waterproof, but speaking of getting things on your shoes, mm. I was at the legendary Saj in Patterson, New Jersey, and my friend Tony Wahesh had a teacup that was so hot that it exploded. Wow. <laughs> wow. Is that what I see? <laughs> the the teacup exploded and like <laughs> oh, shards, of, shards of glass shot across. And there is a splatter on I the see it. on the shoes from a... That sounded like like a, a West Side Gun lyric real quick. Like the DR teacup exploded. <laughs> yeah. <you know>? You're, <laughs> note it. <laughs> you were in Patterson. You hit you hit Victor Cruz. He come no, from, no. So, unfortunately, those okay. look really good. I've, they do. They I'm, look. I'm waiting to be convinced for on, but this might be the first really cool on show. I, and they look. Um, you know, we saw photos of them, but in yeah. person, and and you could feel like. Super techie too. They remind me of that uh, Raph Simmons Adidas colorway. Mm -hmm. Remember that mm -hmm. shoe that had like the jewel on the side. The Oswegos. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to Aaron for those. Yeah. I feel like you probably had some Raph Simmons Oswegos, right? Of course I do. Yeah. Of course I do. That's yeah. one of those ones that I want to go back and get. I still never own. That a was pair. at the moment when that shoe was popping. Like you know. See, that's the thing, man. Like, I, as soon as everything come out, I'm just trying to get everything. Because yeah. like I said, man, you got to keep... It's a lifestyle. And, and you know, it'd be secret competition amongst the other people. In of course. This, you too. Who are you competing people, with? I can't say. <laughs> <laughs> it's of not course. even competing, though, because I feel like I didn't earn my spot now. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Where it's just like people already know. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because... You know, for a lot of, you know, for years, like, I always respected, like, somebody like a, a, a Fab, mm. you know what I'm saying? Because Fab was always just inspirational. And, you know, he just, he come from the street culture with it, you know what I'm saying? So I always respected him, even back with the, the throwback jerseys, yeah, you know of what I'm saying? Just the Set culture. The tone. Yeah, just the culture, you know what I'm saying? So I always respected Fab Fly, you know, yay, you know, uh... I'm trying to think. I mean, it's a lot of people. Yeah. It's a lot of people. Like, I'm not, I can't, I can't, you know, Migos always been fly. It's just mm. a lot of fly people. You know what I'm saying? They're in their own way. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody, you know, has different styles, but, um, you know, Fat Joe. You know what I'm saying? Course. It's just course. like, it's you just certain people in the culture that's just like, you, you respect them. Definitely. You know, from a mile away. And I think, like, you know, I earned my name now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, but you got to keep it up. You yeah, know this is true. You got to keep it up. You're only uh, good as your last outfit, baby. It's true. It's true. I mean, another one of those people, DJ Clark Kent, you had the list Air Force Ones. Yeah. Of course. Of what course. was it like opening that up and knowing that you were That's on the That's list? what I mean about the respect part of it now. It's like. Kind of like I've arrived, right? Yeah, it's like, okay, getting these is like, you know, he respect what I do. And, and that's mm -hmm. what he said. Like, you know, I got to get Fly God in a pair of these. So, you know, that, that's an honor. Like, this is Clark Kent, you know what I'm saying? So, 
Um, and of course, I wore them right off the rip. It nice. wasn't like I try to keep them in a box and like, no, I can't wear them. These are special. These are from Clark Kent, man. I put them on the next day. Whoop, whoop. Love that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Love that. Like, yeah, it's just like, you know, threw on some uh, Givenchy denim, Versace top, and we here. That's yeah, it. Just hey, you know what I mean? Let the shoe speak. <laughs> Absolutely. Yep. Let the shoe speak. You ever see another rapper though with a pair of shoes on? And you're like, damn, I was about to do those, and you feel like you had to put them away for a while. Um, nah, because even if they warm, this is not me. <laughs> mm. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm just gonna probably just wear them totally different. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So, um, nah, I I just go just I do whatever I feel, man. Just you know what I mean? Like I say, I I don't really. You know, I, I secretly watch other people to see what they doing just so I just stay on sharp, you know, stay sharp mm. and on point in my game. But, you know, for the most part, man, you know, I let everybody do them too, man. Yeah. I, you know what I'm saying? I, and I also don't never, like, look at a person and be like, I want those. Or it, it's, mm -hmm. it's really just, it start with the outfit with me. You know what I'm saying? That's the inspiration of just what piece can I, can I get. You know what I'm saying? And I just, um... You know, like say, like I said, I wanted to be calm today, for instance. You know, what I'm this saying? is your like, version of calm. Yeah, yeah. A little calm. <laughs> For a little yeah. Virgil Louis on the top. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, some Nakamoto and Mary. You the know, shorts. These, it's mid October. You know what I mean? I but like the it. thing about it is, I'm the only person in the world with them, so mm. it, it's but you also no, got the I'm high socks cold. on, yeah. so it oh, kind of yeah, like bounces out yeah, like exactly, the body yeah. temperature. Exactly, exactly. So I wanted to, I wanted. You know, it's it's subtle, it's smooth, but again, this is a, a Louis Virgil top shorts never seen. Mike Amiri Nakamoto collab, cause four. It's just Damn. a Margella mask. You Come know on. what I'm saying? Got a head to toe. You know, do you, do walk you hate, through the streets. Do you hate when you see like some like people try to get a fit off, but the fit's predictable? I saw there was a post AT, AT ATF put out the other day where it was like, please don't do this fit. And it was the red and white denim tears sweatsuit with the <laughs> white and red Air Jordan 12s that are going to be coming out. Yeah, I mean, I definitely hate that. <laughs> I, I like that's like the two matchy, just predictable. Like, yeah, I, I can't stand that. You know, but that's the thing. Um, I expect nine times out of ten that, though. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? That's what I mean. Like, just a lifestyle that kind of, like, you know, we live. It's not, um, we not even thinking like that. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? That's just for the average consumer of just, hey, I got a denim tear outfit yeah. finally, and I want to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's just like. The default, the Jordans yeah, to go with. Yeah, it's like, even if I wore that outfit, like the shoe that I'm trying to get to match that outfit is is like, you know, even if it's just chill, I'm I'm just thinking like, you know, what shoe would I wear? But yeah. the thing about Red it Louis is. Red Louis Vuitton Dons, maybe? Oh. I'm going to be honest, you know, and I don't think I would do that with that. <laughs> too, too heavy matching? <laughs> I Fair wouldn't enough. do that. I wouldn't do that with that because, like, when I, if I wear a shoe like that, the outfit has to be 10, 20,000. Sure. Ooh. You see what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, so yeah, if you yeah. wear a GR sneaker, you feel like the outfit can't be GR? It's yeah. It's like for instance, maybe these is going for like resale, like almost four grand. Mm -hmm. So again, like I said, my outfit might be, you know, four grand, five mm -hmm. grand. So that's what I'm saying. It's ten thousand completed, yeah. Matt. Yeah, it's just definitely a ten thousand dollar outfit. So it's just like I wouldn't wear these with a three hundred dollar sweatsuit. It just it wouldn't make Got sense it. to me. But to quote Doom, right? Mm -hmm. He said, "In a clean pair, ripped jeans and a bummy shirt." Yeah, yeah, yeah. You I, never feel like that though. You can just like. <laughs> but see, I think even the bummy shirt is probably vintage, and the t-shirt might there be we two, go. two thousand. <laughs> there we go. There we go. It's bummy. Yeah, those rock tees, those, those yeah. vintage shirts are expensive. Yeah. yeah. I was happy that you're here because I wanted to talk to you about. I have a lot of wrestlers on my show, and and they all claim that they started sneakers. I know that you are a huge wrestling fan. I've seen you at events. You had the AEW performance. Who do you think started sneakers in wrestling? Who do you remember, like, you know, back then? It's always like a, when it, again, Shane like McMahon. I said, sh I mean, the Shane George, always the George had yes. off the I'm top. not, I'm not going to hold you. Yeah. Shane always been the illest. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, but just far as like culture, like even like modern times, I look at the, uh, the Young Bucks, yeah. AEW, that's yeah. number one. Yeah. 
They they hold they hold the title. And we just talking s- about who I like. Fire just saying who who did it first. I can't really say. Mm. I respect Shane Foot mm-hmm. Game. John Cena with the pumps. Um, Cena pumps were definitely a moment. Yeah, you know that was you know that yeah. they did that for the culture for yeah. sure. You could tell that was purposely placed. You I know think, what I'm did saying? Did you go out and get a pair of pumps after that? Nah. I think <laughs> there, I think there's the picture back in the day of Kevin Nash in the Fubu jersey and the black and red thirteens. <laughs> oh, that's dope. <laughs> I, I know he had. To, I, re, I know yeah. the picture of the Fubu, the jersey. I'm not sure what he had on his feet, but yeah. you know the thing about it is, far as just like really like pushing the culture forward because like. You know, with Kevin Nash, that's just one picture. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But like, you know, Shane always had it. Um, yeah. But definitely the Young Bucks. Like, the Young Bucks is like pushing the envelope. They're wearing things that's yeah. like they 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 wrestle right now in these fours. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's like yeah. it's no, it's nothing stopping them. I used to think they was fake, but then I'm like, that might just be really what they're into, mm-hmm. and they don't. They might be doing it for the culture because everybody's doing it different. They, in their mind, they might really be trying to buy them to wrestling them to say, "Hey, I'm the person that wrestled in the cause force." Yeah, well, I don't want them to be fake. I actually want them to right. be real because that's what I stand for. So that I, I said, I'm gonna take that into consideration. I want to give them the benefit of the yeah. doubt because I don't. You know how you said that the joints was leaning and the suede wasn't yeah. really. Yeah. It wasn't yeah. really. Oh, he'll he'll be, he's, he's Inspector. Ga- he'll he'll take a magnifying glass. Out. He's we like Inspector him. Gadget. We got him. Yeah. But what I like about the Bucks too is they're incorporating, they put like the tacks on the Travis ones, then the exploding super kicks on, mm-hmm. on the Jordan ones. So they're they're wearing sneakers and then adding like some wrestling effects yeah, to it as well. Yeah, they take they taking it to another level. I, I've been on their uh you know, their vlog, the sneaker camera yeah. joint. I I didn't already been on it. I forgot what I was wearing, but it was something crazy. <laughs> okay. But um, yeah, I definitely respect them. Uh, Us- so. I, lo- I love Usos too. Yeah, because with the with the all red forces, I think that's just consistent, it's, right? Yeah, it's yes. just you know, what he, I'm well, saying? he wears it's, those it's every still time. like a lot. Yeah, those is but you know the thing about those those are kind of like the John Cena pump. Mm. You see what I'm saying? What, how, like, how so? I mean, fire is like they're there. It's the shoe, but it's it's the same shoe every match, and yeah, it's yeah. not really like pushing the sneaker culture forward it's like the uniform it's, exactly mm-hmm. got it what about Kofi, exactly. Kofi it's, Kofi it's, it's iron chic with the with the spike toes man. yeah it's the same curl toes same thing say that again Kofi sorry. Kingston Kofi nice I was gonna actually say Kofi too yeah. Kofi nice Kofi nice um but that's really it I've seen Kenny Omega try a couple times but you know Kenny hang out with the Bucks so they the ones probably even told him like the drip down, Kenny, right? You should wear this. <laughs> oh, drip down yeah, yeah. economics. You should drip wear down. this. Ooh, I like that. You know what yeah, I'm saying? I like that. It's just certain people that's fly, mm-hmm. man. You know what I'm saying? I don't. I'm not really sure his sneaker game. And he and and if the, the outfits he wear, he has to have those sneakers. But Ray Mysterio, mm-hmm. I've never seen Ray Mysterio not fly in my life. Totally. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, if his shoes. They probably don't. They don't show his shoes a lot, but his outfit be so crazy. Fire, I'm pretty yeah. sure. His shoe gang got to be crazy. Buddy. You got Dom, you got Dom Mysterio popping out in the off white uh, flannel, and that's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. Like it's a respect. You see, I I called that name out because it's true. Yeah, it's like yeah. those guys are part of the culture. They yeah. push the culture forward. So that's what I mean about they're like, aware. I know for a fact, Dom and yes. Ray is sneakerheads for yeah. sure. On yeah. some level, yeah, for sure they have to be because the outfits they wear definitely. You know, yeah. I mean, him and him and Conan came out with like Master P back in the yeah, WCW sure. days. So for sure, for sure. You got the uh, LV on. I know you've been a Virgil supporter for mm-hmm. a long time, and you were also a close friend of his. I feel like I know the answer to this question, but do you have the Louis Vuitton Air Force ones? Yep. I haven't seen of you course, in them that I remember course. because I'm just waiting. He's yeah. waiting. You know what I'm saying? Because the thing about it, like I said, is certain things that I hold. For certain occasions, you yeah. know what I mean. Like I have them, but it's just which like, pairs? Were the retail pairs of friends and family? Nah, like I bought all mine. I'm not gonna hold you. Yeah. What, you know uh, what like the green, the blue, the yeah, red? Yeah, the green, blue, and the red. Okay. You know what wow. I'm saying? Are, so, did you get them the from thing, Louis Vuitton, or did you nah, buy them on the? Nah, re- oh, you nah, bought them on the bought, resale? Yeah, I bought them in a the resale. Because that's the thing too. Like, I'm not a person that's just, you know, hungry for a gift, man. If mm-hmm. I want it, I'm gonna get it. You know what I'm saying? And I bought them just out of respect to V 
And it's just mm. like when it's time, it's you know, it's just yeah. the appropriate time to just wear them. You know what I'm saying? Like I just purchased a a, a, po a Louis Vuitton polo from the kids super show only okay. three ever made it's, wow. the, it's only a small medium and a large made um and i got the large you know what i'm saying and you know i'm thinking about wearing the royal ones with that one you know nice. what i mean because the polo the polo just retail was ten thousand. wow yeah wow. you know what i'm saying so it's just like that's the type of you know outfit that i mean what i wear yeah that type of shoe is like if i'm gonna wear that shoe this is a ten thousand only three ever made the whole shirt is knit mm. it's it's like it's an art piece in itself like i could literally just wear it the one time and like frame it like i don't put man, it in the moment of, yeah, it's, it's yeah. one of the it's <laughs> one of the illest shirts yeah. i've ever seen in my life i mean it's a ten thousand dollar polo yeah you know what i'm saying and it's a, it's a, it's beautiful and um like i said i really don't know when i'm gonna wear it yeah. you know what i mean because even just like you know I was thinking about wearing it to my album release party, and then I was like, nah, you know what I'm saying? And then I was going, you know, it's just different times where I'm just like. Almost, right? Yeah, but, yeah. you know, I'm, I'm going to just wait for the right time, though. What about Fear of God Adidas? Did you get a crack at that yet? It's not out yet, but I nope. feel like you nope. I feel like you got a line on it. Nope, but the thing is, it, like I said, I really, um, I really don't ask for gifts, man. You know what I mean? I get blessings, you know what I'm saying? So. But I think I'm going to get blessed, though. You know what I'm like, saying? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, you know, those close friends of mine, you know what I'm saying? And um, they saw a love from that side. And, it's, you know what I mean? I, and they got love from me. So I think they'll bless me. You know what I'm saying? One thing I like about you is, like, you wear a variety. You'll do a Balenciaga runner. You did, uh, I think, recently, like, the, the Kith Toronto New Balances, the all red ones. Mm -hmm. And how, like, important is variety to you in terms of footwear? Man, I love everything. Yeah. That's the thing. It's just all about style. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't just discriminate and mm -hmm. just be like, oh, it's a Reebok. I'll never wear it because it's a Reebok. You know what I'm saying? It's just like. You know, if it's if it's the right look, the right collab, you know, just the right shoe, I still would do it. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? It's um, you know, I just love what ASIC been doing lately, because uh, I always love ASIC, but it was just like they never really got his shine, but it's starting to kind of like finally get his yeah. shine. I always been a, a, a NB head, a New Balance head. I can't even tell you how many pair of New Balances. Really? Yeah, I have samples of, of sizes of New Balance because wow. well, I wear nine. Yeah, you're so oh, that's yeah. a sample size. Mm. So it's just like you told Ronnie Fig, I you need know size nine every pair. Exactly, <laughs> and you know somebody was over there. They don't work there no more. But oh, you know I think I know saying? who. <laughs> and I really? Had a couple pairs. <laughs> Maybe, <He's> but <laughs> <Okay>. go on. <laughs> but you know, I had got you know a couple sample pairs and. Because that was always like my dream collab. New Balance. New Balance, actually. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So I love what Bam Bam over there doing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, Bam Bam, my bro. He gonna make, he's going to make sure I get everything. You know what I'm and saying? And they're all fire. Sure. Yeah. Spe speaking of wrestling, were you hyped when you saw him at AEW oh, come out in the New Balance? Of course. Yeah. You know what I mean? Him and Hook, man. You yes. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's a moment. You see what I'm saying? Like, that's what we here for, man. I, I just I love that um that wrestling is kind of like, and just especially just AEW, man. They they they're pushing the culture for big time. It's a lot of people over there that's, you know, really into the culture, and they just you know uh, I respect Tony for letting them, you know, get their shine on, man. Because, you know, I have four rope wrestling. You know what I'm saying? You know I'm I'm all the way into like the underground spots with a hundred people, 150 nice. people to, you know, front row at the last five WrestleManias, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So it's just like, I go in these places and just find the raw talent. And a lot of these people actually is in AEW now. So it's just yeah. like, I love Tony for giving these same guys that I seen in these rooms with 150 people opportunity. Mm. Cause it's like, damn bro, I remember just a year ago, man, like seeing them in a small venue. Yeah, it's like yeah. you know, sweaty it's, basement it's, somewhere in Connecticut. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's, it's it's pretty dope how um he's just giving a lot of people opportunity. But again, you bringing those type of guys into your company, now you're bringing the culture with it. Yeah, and now you're letting them be them, and now that's why you're getting what you're getting on TV right now. You mentioned a six. Okay. Buffalo guy, Stefan Diggs. Mm -hmm. He's got a deal with ASICs now. Have you mm -hmm. seen him wearing the ASICs cleats on um, the field? 
I'm not even gonna hold you, man. I be watching the game. I don't be knowing who be what on what foot. You okay, know what I said I can't. Even, I'm not even gonna lie and sit here um, and tell you I seen what can't was on see his foot. Sweet. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> it's a little far out. <laughs> now, you know what's crazy? I love sitting in the end zone. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I luck because it's like when they score, I want I always want them to like run at me and give me Throw a me football. Ball, yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But they never give me the football. You know what I mean? They <laughs> come and they that? come and take the picture. I think they just be in the moment. And yeah. they just and you know, I mean, I don't be tripping, man. But I just really like just to see them celebrate. So I like really um, you know, just kind of sitting there. The only thing is, man, when they down on the other side of the field, you you can't, can't see nothing. Yes. But you know, I, I the Louis Vuitton binoculars, you know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not for sure. But you know, now I can't even. I'm not gonna hold you. I can't tell. But that's good for him, though. Yeah. I'm pretty sure the uh, the, the cleat is dope, though, because yeah. Stefan Diggs beat my he, Giants last night. He's a, well, you yeah, know, yeah, we but kept I'm it talking, close. I almost had a heart. Hey, listen, I almost had a heart attack. We kept it, it close. close. I, I, I couldn't believe it. It, was close. it went down to the last yes. play of the game. Literally, yes. just one play. Yes, on the one yard yes. line. Yes, yes, it was intense. That's how like, I felt watching the Ducks this weekend. Bro. Yeah, I hate to see it. I know that you said on FSR your first time driving a car was to get some Jordan Eleven Lows, which yeah, is like red. a legendary yeah. story. Legendary yeah. story. When Mom that when, Michelle, when I heard rest that. in peace. Yeah, but. What is like the last sneaker you chased or like had to like, you know, you said you don't ask for shoes, but like really had to figure it out to get to nail down. Damn, that's a good one. One that maybe I, I, like you saw online, you're like, I yeah, need these. I, yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. Damn, man, because that's the thing. Everything I, I need, I end up getting, getting like yeah. in there immediately. Are you <laughs> one that like, oh, I saw it online. I need these next week or you're patient? Well, I'm going to tell you like this because. I'm going to be honest, just mm -hmm. what really what I want, I kind of just get. Okay. The shoe that I've been chasing now, like mm -hmm. right now that I'm actually, I was actually going to wear here first, but they didn't have them, was the Yeezy Blinks. Okay. You know what I'm saying? The, the ones. Because <laughs> I, I had a black leather outfit. Where are my Yeezy Nike still? You know, exactly, yeah. exactly. So I had um a black leather Celine outfit huh. that I was going to wear here. I, that's what I'm saying. I was, you know how you just be, and yeah, now I just course. came so Hold comfortable. Of course, yeah. yeah, I just came so comfortable now. Yeah. Like that's what I'm saying. Like I'm like, damn, man. But I'm worried what about am spending I money what on am those. I really are they going to collapse? You know, I've seen a lot yeah. of easy ones that are falling apart at this stage, and yeah. I still want a pair of easy ones. I never yeah. owned a pair of Net Zen any yeah. any yeah. of the colorways. Yeah. I would love to have, but yeah. I'm I'm nervous about that. Would you yeah. take that risk? Still spend a lot of money, even if it's one wear and they collapse. Yeah. Okay. But the thing is, so, um. Flight Club, I sent my guy there last night. They didn't have them. They have them online, but in the description, they already give you the warning, the yeah. disclaimer. Yes. Like, look, if you buy them, we're already warning you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. they, they might break apart. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I think it's still worth that one one time. I, I have to do it. Okay. It's, it's, worth the, it's, it's just worth having them. Yeah. Just to have them. Did you ever have a pair of Yeezy ones before? No. Same. No. I, I, no. One day. No. Yeah. No. Nope. What's your favorite sneaker this year? Or you think the is the best sneaker of twenty twenty three? I like the um I don't know if you want to say Saucony, Saucony, however you want to say it. We say it different ways, but I like the J Tips. You know oh what I'm the, nice. The, yeah, I like the J Tips Saucony's, man. I think um it was it's just good quality, good color scheme. He's a good um, dude. You could, yeah, yeah, good dude. You know, he stands for, you know, just the art culture and not this I love the shoe. I'll tell you what, he's got some more shoes coming yep. too. We mm -hmm. were out in Portland yeah. with him a few weeks ago and I yep. saw some samples in the hotel yep. lobby. So yeah. oh, look out wow. for J Tips. No, nah, yeah, no, nah, shout out to him, man. Just that's just dope to see uh just the independent designers and artists just getting shots like that. And man, he got his opportunity and nailed it off rip. Like mm -hmm. though like I said, man, even just the quality and just I just love the uh the color schemes and just the way he put it together. You could wear it with anything and I don't care where you at. You could just be seen from across the street with those shoes on. What's it's the just fit like, looking like with those though? Because it's um, a loud shoe. Man, everything is a blur because I wore them already. You know what I'm saying? But I wore them actually twice. I know I had a, a Louis Vuitton, Virgil, um, Nego uh, jean jacket. 
You know what I'm saying? The LV Made collection. Yeah. I want the tie from that so bad with the there's little so duck on it. Yeah. There's so duck? many good pieces. Yeah. Yeah. Picture yeah. me at a Ducks game with that tie on you with the duck can, on yeah. it? Come on, <laughs> Just man. Like this. Even the wooden duck. They made the wooden yeah. duck. I was at yeah. a resale shop in Shanghai this past weekend. I saw the wooden LV. And the yeah. I even duck. like the cross, yeah. you know, so he came man. in with the, the LV Made. Yeah, <sighs> nah, it's pulling, super dope. The wedding with the you know, I need it, man. I see you. I see you. What yes, else? SB Jordan 4s, yes, you like that? Yes. What else have we been kicking around? Tiffany Air Force 1s? I don't like that. Yep. Um, you like those? Yeah, I wore the uh, Tiffany's up here uh, just the other day. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Um, I, I stepped through the office, came up here, and, and I had them on. You were here? Yeah. And we didn't know? Yeah, mm. I came here the other day. The black, the, the the black, black Tiffany's. Yeah. Yep, I, I like those on. a I had lot. them on the other day. These guys don't like them. Yeah. And like I say, it's crazy because that's what I, when I say things is a blur when it comes to fashion, once I wear it, it's just like, huh, I'm yeah. already to the next thing. Because here it is. I was just here the other day. I had those on. I was, I'm on the page and everything. I had those on. I had the black version of these because um, you guys uh, posted it that I, I world premiered them. So I had okay. on the black ones. Did so a fit I check. I on the blue one. Exactly. The nice. fit check. I had those on. And then I had the Monte Carlo Louis Vuitton shades with kind of the Tiffany blue siding. Okay. You know nice. what I'm saying? And match the check and the, and the kicks. It, it was it was a phenomenal outfit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I must say. I kind of feel I mean? the opposite about the everything is a blur for me personally. Because when I, when I figure out an outfit and I figure mm -hmm. out the thing to go with the other thing, mm -hmm. I'm like, let's do that again. This feels good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, that's, you know. Um, I don't wear things often twice, not like Different that. Different levels. Yeah. You know? <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. You know, go ahead. I was Stop waiting for it. Yeah. I was waiting for it. Nah, I'm just go being ahead. honest, you know what I'm saying? So it's just like I'm not thinking about when I'm ever wearing those again. You know what I'm saying? It's just like I'm yeah. thinking about what I'm going to wear next. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So like I said, I went through three different outfit changes just for today. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn, what I'm going to wear, woo, 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 woo. And then I, I end up just being comfortable. Like, you know what? Let me wear these short, this color uh, shorts because nobody never seen these two. Mm -hmm. And um, again, man, the, you know, the cause for us is just legendary. And yes. I, I, I had to come represent. And, um, you know, I'm just pushing the art culture forward. And, you know, I just feel like, because, uh, you know, the thing about it is, man, you know, even with the music and everything we do, you know, I'm kind of one of those guys who, like, bridge the gap mm -hmm. from, like, the old guy to the to the youngin, you know yeah, what I'm saying? You're it's existing in like, both worlds. Yeah, it's kind of like I bring everybody together, and that's that's kind of what I'm here for. So it's just like the cool kids be like, oh, look what he got on, you know what I'm saying? But then I'm also educating the guys who's not on it, you know what I'm saying? But it's just like with platforms like this, you know, you have to teach them, you know do, what I'm saying? And do I, the old I, heads know, who like come for your music for the bars are they ever like, oh, why is he wearing the outfits like that? Of course, you know what I'm saying? But I, I've always been a fly guy. Like, ever since I started, my first rhyme was, it was fly. You know mm. what I'm saying? Like, that's all I know. That's all I stand for. And, um, you know, it's crazy because when I wear the things I rap about, it's like, you love the music, but you don't like what I'm wearing. It doesn't make sense. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I I'm literally, to to talk about I'm that literally rhyming exactly <laughs> what I'm, you know what yeah. I'm saying? I'm wearing exactly what I'm rhyming. So it's just like... It's just crazy how it is, you know what I'm saying? Um, because, you know, just from the underground culture, it's, it's you know, naturally the boom bap is kind of like the boom bap fam kind of is like the hoodie. You know, people yeah. always have that that look yeah. where it's just yeah. like, you know, you know, the some thought Pegasus of just, made, Some Nike Pegasus yeah, a little bit. Yeah, just, you know what I'm saying? Just okay. the baggy jean hoodie, Tim's, Tim's, yeah. you yeah. know, kind of look. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, when I wear... Uh, you know, the Balenciaga runner, and I wear, a, yeah. you know, an outfit they don't understand, or, you know, I wear a Goyard bag that think it's a purse. If I wear, a, you know what I'm saying? It's just always something. I wear a Celine boot. Oh, he's, look at him. He need to wear apple bottoms. He's, 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 <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, but I'm just, I'm just having fun. I'm me. I always been me. You know what I'm saying? I bring people into my world. I really don't go into anybody else's. And you just, you have to represent the fly because it's just like, you know, um, it's just like I said, it's different styles all across the world. 
And just me traveling, I was able to shop in London, Milan, Dubai, Athens, Greece, Germany, like all these places. So I've been to, you know, the Louis Vuitton or the mall in every last one of those places, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So now, if I'm here for a long period of time, you know, I just go, I have my, you know, normal spots and certain, you know, personal shoppers at certain stores mm -hmm. that make sure, you know, they, you know, keep me with the text messages, yo, we got this, we got that. And, and, and they help me out. But um, I really like the rush just overseas. Like I said, all this year, just trying to find things in person. It's just like I'm on my own time. I'm not rushing. I'm having fun. I'm making this music. I was really just kind of like inspiring myself, you know what I'm saying? And um, just meeting just the sales, uh, you know, the personal shoppers in different stores and just – you know, it's it's just been a dope experience. It's like I'm I'm leveling up with yeah. it. I'm leveling up with it, and I'm having fun with it now. You know what I'm saying? It's it's I always have fun with it growing up, but it's it's just levels. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's it's true. Like, you know, I have access to more now, and you know, um, certain phone numbers, like I said, I have now, or just even me traveling the world. I I didn't. Like I said, this was the first year I ever did that. Yeah. So just even West Side Gun last year wasn't even what I want this year. You know what I'm yeah. saying? It's like the way I move and think now is just it's just totally different. Now it's like, I, like I said, I just take it real serious. You know what I'm saying? Okay. More more serious now than I ever had. That's why on this album I go by Superfly God. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Please I say went, the super. Yeah, you, yeah. So like my drop, my whole career always been Fly God. Which is my daughter. She said it when she was two. West Side Pootie. West Side Pootie. Shout out West Side Pootie. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The legend. You <laughs> know what I mean? But, you know, through my whole career, she was she was born the year I, my career started. You know what I'm saying? So she been there the whole way through. And ever since she was two, I had her on all my music. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, you know, now, again, fast forward, it's just like, now I'm super fly guy, yeah. and, my, and my son, you know, he's four now, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Asa Lord, yeah. you know what I'm saying? West Side Baby, mm -hmm. you know, he say super fly guy now. So the drop went from Pootie, you know what I'm saying, yeah. at two years old to now my son. Because now Pootie 10, Pootie doing covers now, Pootie talking more trash, yeah. <laughs> talking that talk. up. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So now I'm like, you know what? It's just time for, you know, my son to do it. So now on a new album, you hear the Superfly God, that's my son. You know what I'm saying? Amazing. Let me ask you this. Is there some fake chrome hearts floating around here? I feel like every time I step out, I see so much chrome hearts. And I'm like, are y'all, are y'all, is this real chrome hearts that y'all have on? Not you, but just people just out and about in general. I'm like, I want to tap the little metal pieces and be like, is that really metal on there? I'm just a little suspicious at the chrome hearts floating around. I mean... For sure. Just like his fake denim tear. Right. right. A lot of that. It's so much fake denim tear. It's ridiculous. It's, it's, you know, the thing about it is, man, they always, you know, uh, bootlegged everything. That's, yeah. I mean, like, soon as it comes out, it's literally bootlegged the next mm -hmm. day. It's like. Does that push you away from wanting to wear some brands? Like, if you really appreciate it, but you see so much fake of it that you kind of Nah, don't. I just wear mine and feel sorry for the person that's wearing the fake one. Oh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Pray for him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pray for him. Like, <laughs> for sure, because we stand for two different things. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, like, you know, what I was speaking on earlier, like, I, what, what somebody else wear, it doesn't even matter to yeah. me. It's like... I just I really focus on what I'm doing and um like this is just a lifestyle I focus on myself. Put them on the cross. Yeah, like you the, you the you, you couldn't pay me sins. you couldn't pay me to wear nothing fake. Like it couldn't even like that's like a sin. Like I feel like having a stylist is a sin mm. and just wearing something fake is a sin. You know what I'm saying? If if you're really, you know about it. In my category yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Last thing I wanted to ask you, what Stove God cooks like in real life? Because I'm such a huge fan. Super chill. Yeah. Super chill. Super hungry. Yeah. Super just ready to work. I could put on five beats today. He's going to do all five. He's one of the best out. Yeah. for sure. No, hands down. Um, And he's about to start going crazy. 24 is going to be the year of Stove God. Okay. You know what I'm saying? It's, all, it's always about timing. Everybody know everything I do is by design. By design and by designer. 
for sure. For sure. It's like I approach everything in different ways. You know what I'm saying? And, and even when I curate, you know, I'm always thinking about the cover, yep. the name of the album, um, the song titles, the production, the sequencing, everything. You know what I'm saying? And I, I, I feel like I'm about to have so much fun with Stove. And again, it's always about time and we've been just going crazy on my projects, you know what I'm saying? And kind of just like sizing them up for what's about to happen, you know what I'm saying? And I'm just looking forward to it. 24 too, is going to be a big yeah, year. Probably 24 is going to be probably one of the biggest years for Griselda, you know what awesome. I'm saying? Because for the last couple of years, you know, Conway been doing his thing mm -hmm. and he, he has a, a, a label drum work that he's pushing. He's the boss of and... You know, Benny has a, a BSF and he's the, you know, the boss of his label and they've been doing their thing. But, you know, we all family, you know what I'm saying? It's nothing stronger than us three together. So, Definitely. you know, we got to come together and give people what we're seeing going to do too. We have to for yeah. the culture. We have to, you know what I'm saying? The first the first one is when, you you, you know, you got the legendary uh, Dr. Birds tell Virgil right brick on my brick. Yep. So, you know, we so got to- for sure. Okay. Twenty twenty four. You heard it. You heard it first. Well, because I'm a designer. You know, people forget that West Side Gun was a designer before a rapper. Mm -hmm. You know, I started rapping to kind of just uh keep you know, keep at that time. It wasn't even named Griselda yet, but just mm -hmm. like keeping the energy going because, you know, unfortunate situations occurred, you know, and, and, and Conway unfortunately was shot. So, mm -hmm. you know, things had to kind of take a pause and I had to figure out a way. I'm a hustler. You know what I'm saying? I was already behind him and it was just like, yo, I got to figure out something. And I just held it down. You know what I'm saying? And I just I just rap my lifestyle, just being fly and being, you know, street culture and from East Side Buffalo and just came raw as I could and fast forward eleven years later, you know th th that sound yeah. is 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 uh finally hitting mainstream. People seen me and conductor Michael Irvin beat win a Grammy with Tyler. Mm -hmm. Uh, we seen Drake new single. You just know what I'm saying? Produ conductor, you know, yeah. Produced by a conductor. So yeah. these is you know two some of the biggest hip hop names in the world. You know pushing that Griselda sound. Absolutely. Listen, we can't thank you enough. Busy yes, week for you, yes, the album, yes. and then you pray for me out now. Congrats on everything. This is great. Uh, can't thank you enough for Not you giving us our man. It was a pleasure. It was a pleasure, man. Next time, I'm, I don't know what I'm going to come with. Okay. Don't worry the, about the it. I'm, I'm coming back. Blessings. Yes. Inshallah. You're right. Inshallah. You're right. You're Thanks right. again. Okay. All right, everyone. This has been the Complex Sneaker Show. We hope everyone has a great weekend. Please like, subscribe, comment. We will see you next week.